Okay, I'm going to show the posterior glide of the radial head as a progression. So we're moving more towards extension, more towards the patient's end range. Okay, now in order to control this extension, remember that she's a normal patient, right? A lot of our patients may only have 20, 30, 40 degrees, they may be missing of extension here. Okay, so we don't want to just hang the hand out doing nothing. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll put my leg up on the table and I'll try to get in whatever position they need to be at based on how much extension they have. All right? If it was a lot less than this, I guess I could put a towel or something light on that underneath here, but for this purposes of this class, resting it on the leg is fine. You're gonna find the radial head. You're gonna understand that it is going to be a little bit sensitive. It's a, it's a sensitive contact. So you have to go in gentle. If you're too pointed with your thumbs, it may be sore, you can broaden them out a little bit. I use a bilateral thumb contact, so I'm trying to fit the radial head right into both of these thumbs. All right, so I'm here, all right, and I feel that radial head. Oh, sorry. There we go. And I'm going to sink in, and I'm mobilizing right there. Are you okay there? Okay. I'm mobilizing the posterior. So if I was doing a grade four Maitland, that's what it would look like. All right. Now remember, my line of the joint is this way, so my force is going this way. All right, not this way. My force is going this way. All right. So once again, I'm here, getting my thumb there, and I'm trying to create a force that goes back down towards the table. That would be my posterior glide of the radial head to increase elbow extension or elbow pronation. Right? 